<laughs> ah, all right, folks. Capitol Hill right now, y'all. Guess what? We got a new Speaker of the House. Wisconsin Republican Congressman Paul Ryan voted in yesterday. Uh, next Speaker of the House. He is the youngest speaker in 150 years. He's also the first speaker ever from Wisconsin. And he also said it's time for Congress to stop squabbling and get back to work. Yeah, we'll see if that happens. His <laughs> predecessor, uh, Ohio Congressman John Boehner, left on a high note thanking his friends across the aisle. I'm just as grateful to Ms. Pelosi, Mr. Hoyer, Mr. Clyburn, and Becerra, and others uh, for uh, all of the, uh, the work that we've done together. And over these last five years, we've done an awful lot of work together, probably more work done across the aisle over the last five years than in the 25 years that I've served in this institution. Is it, isn't it, uh, Joy, really? Calm sorry. down. Yeah, I mean, we do have a live show going on here. You I'm get all these outbursts I'm and everything sorry. down here. All right, so, uh, now what's also interesting, of course, where you have, uh, yeah, I'm just like, I'm sorry. I say how that had been me. No, I'm off the like, show. Yeah. Off the show. I'm, like, I'm sorry, my apologies. <laughs> yeah. He's, he, yeah. He incites me like yeah, that. Yeah, gotcha. All right, cool. <laughs> Congressman Ryan, he takes the reins, of course, on the heels of a bipartisan two year budget deal that will extend the budget ceiling through 2007. 17. Also, Congressman Gregory Meeks was not vote, he did not vote yesterday uh, for in this campaign because he, he was the only House member to miss the vote because he suffered a mild heart attack. Doctors placed a stent in a blocked artery, and the 62-year-old congressman from New York, an alpha man, Scott, expects to return to work <laughs> next week. Before the heart attack, yeah, Meeks had missed several key votes in the past week because his father also uh, had been ill. All right, folks, uh, it, that's right. So, 90-year-old father. So, uh, so Congressman Meeks. Uh, get well. Thousands of cops along with mourners lined the streets of Jamaica, Queens to honor New York police officer Randolph Holder who was killed in the line of duty last week. Holder was fatally shot in the head while pursuing a bicycle bicycle thief during the family, friends and co first of all, family, friends and colleagues remembered Holder as a family man who loved his job. His remains were flown to his native Guyana where he would be buried. The suspected killer Tyrone Peanut Howard has been charged with murder as, as well as robbery. All right, folks, hip hop mogul Russell Simmons has some major issues with his rush card, pledging to reimburse thousands of cardholders who experienced financial losses during the three week system lockout. The rush card systems are now fully restored. The issuer of the prepaid debit card states that customers will be paid for losses caused by a technical glitch and left many cardholders unable to pay bills, get cash, or make purchases. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has been asked to look into what happened. Consumer advocates say the ordeal highlights the need for greater regulation of prepaid debit cards, Simmons has set up a fund to compensate customers. That's, that's going to be uh, still, still going to be an issue that once all of a sudden uh, Congress jumps in and regulators jump in. Yeah, they're, they're on their way. And while um, uh, Simmons has had a great response in the corporate crisis and what have you, the regulators are coming because these prepaid cards uh, are unregulated right now. They have agencies that they could come under. And while he's going to have a corporate investigation, he needs to be doing some internal things right now in preparation for the feds and the regulators to come and then be, have an active voice on the hill when that legislation is uh, presented uh, because he does have a mission and he does help a lot of people in our communities at the same time regulations are on their way. Jason. Scott, uh, un unless we have President Bernie Sanders and Vice President Elizabeth Warren, there's not going to be any regulation <laughs> on prepaid cards. There are too many companies that make too much money off of these cards and unfortunately most of the victims are poor working class people of color. They're not going to do anything about it. We're not going to see any regulation. The only person really going to suffer right now is Rush and the people who had to use this card. You might be right, but uh, I hope uh, you're wrong. All right, folks, we <laughs> we're going to come back uh, on social media. A uh, number of uh, white tweeters had this to say. They said that, you know what, we have some tips for black people. This is how you really should act and respond when you get stopped by the cops. Okay, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> also, uh, find out how the grassroots organization Color Change got its start and what it is in store for the future. And I don't know how Avery Sunshine got past security to come on to our show, but <laughs> we went ahead and had it on the show. So maybe you see our conversation. And Scott alluded to this. There's a uh, cop in D.C. Uh, let's say she started breaking down the nene to break up a fight. Wait until you see this hilarious form of community policing. It's 25 after the hour. News 1 Now on TV1.